It's Wednesday the 18th of October and um, I just want to hit on an issue that is seemingly becoming more of an issue and that is being straight and heterosexual. It seems to be we're not allowed. Some A friend of mine actually said just the other night, what is this big attack on heterosexualism and just being a man fancying a woman? And I was sat laughing in the back of my head, thinking, God, I've, you know, I've been watching David Icke for quite some years, and he knows about the transgender uh, you know, um, agenda that's being pushed by the elite, by the top 1%. And it was fascinating. But I've been watching this morning, today, and <laughs> last week they had this, um, what they call a gender-fluid person, um, who had red hair on this side, black hair on this side, some lacy uh, top number thing on, and um, pink and black tights, vertical striped ones, with massive great big boots and a skirt, right? She had like a really pale blue lipstick, and I can't remember what the colour of her eyeshadow was, but it was, she looked a bit like a mess, I'm not going to lie. Um, confused about, uh, well, you know, being a man or a woman. So, and allegedly, so, so I found out that she used to be a man and has now become a girl. Um, I can't remember, it was Robin and now it's Rabina or something, I can't remember. But she was pushing for gender neutral passports. Nick Ferrari was sat there from the Daily Mail, sat there saying, and from LBC as well he does, uh, saying, you know, we've got a problem with terrorism at the minute, and if you allow gender-neutral passports, you're just basically allowing, it, making it easier for people to come and leave the country under different, you know, you know, if 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 a terror attack happens, this was his point, uh, the police put out a call, yeah, we're looking for a 35-year-old um, Asian male, and, uh, you know, if gender-neutral passports are around, he could just say, yeah, well, I'm gender-neutral, I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, I'm gender-neutral, and leave the country because it, it, it scuppers the search, right? And th this girl was like, oh, you know, well, no, all I'm asking for is, is the option to have it on. If you have the option on the paperwork, it's going to make it dangerous, isn't it? You know, that's, uh, that's the point. And Holly was like, uh, you know, Holly, Holly Willabooby, uh, quite fit, but turning into a right little Zionist. And... Um, and by the way, I'm not anti-Semitic before anyone goes, oh, you can't say that word Zionist. No, no. Because guess what? You don't need to be Jewish to be a Zionist. So Netanyahu, you can go fuck yourself with your, oh, if you're going to be anti-Zionist, it means you're going to be, you're anti-Semitic. No, nah. no. Nah. Sorry, buddy. That isn't going to wash. Um, anyway, Holly sort of says, oh, uh, I can understand why it's a problem because the girl had said, "Oh, you know, well, some days I, I I'm a man and some girl, some days I'm a I'm a, I'm a girl, and uh, you know it's not really fair because you know." And she was like, "Oh, I understand." Well, today they're attacking. So they were they were saying, "Oh, I understand. It's fine to being like like that gender fluid, right?" And today, and it's my thing with gender fluidness. You know, if you're gay or bisexual or whatever, then fine. Up to you. Don't rub it in my face. I'm not interested. I'm heterosexual. Okay. But to have to make a decision every day whether you're going to be a man or a woman, I'm sorry. Uh, you need to be in a mental hospital, not out in the street. Yeah. But they push that. They actually, you know, obviously push it because they allow it to be on the program something that they want and today they're attacking um heterosexualism basically saying that in france next year men could be fined for wolf, wolf whistling women it's a wolf whistle we're already being restricted by by certain laws uh, that are in the workplace and so on and so forth well, you can't do that you can't pay a woman a compliment because she might take it as sexual harassment so on and so forth which is an attack on um heterosexualism it's as simple as that and now they're trying to say, they're trying to suggest on this morning, oh, do we need the same law in the UK? Well, fuck no, we don't need the same law in the UK. And there are two women about to battle it out, which I'll show you in a minute. 
And one of them is saying, well, no, you know, I think, you know, a wolf whistle is pretty, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty harmless, you know, it's, uh, it's not really intrusive, um, flirting. Whereas, you know, obviously if you went up to a bird and grabbed her by the arse and said, oh yeah, I love your ass, love. Yeah, that's going to be sexual harassment. Anyone can draw the line there, but having the law lines drawn for us, then writing laws to back up the lines that they're drawing, which is basically going against men and women coming together because men can't actually pay a woman a compliment anymore because, oh, we don't, we don't like to push heterosexualism anymore. We want to push transgenderism and bisexualism and gayness. That's what we're pushing because there are people that are socially engineering our society in in a way um, and not doing it in their own country let's put it that way naming the Israel so essentially this is what's going on so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the play the footage now there we go look at Holly's face very pretty but not and Phil looking bemused yeah Holly like oh yeah let's get this Right, turn it up. Well, look at her. I'm fed up of the un. I'm fed up of the unwanted attention. Look at it. Not exactly dressed like a nun. Holly's stern face. Very difficult week and a very important week, um, which has opened up a huge discussion about something that needs to be talked about, which is how unsafe or safe people feel or even are out in the world. But what mustn't happen is that the whole You're thing must be. referring to a once thing. Oh, I am. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. And the whole Philip thing too, and the whole everything. Breaking a train of thought there. Though we have been talking obviously more Isn't about it? women. What, what can't happen, I think, is that we can't get to a point where nobody, no, nobody can pay anybody a compliment, a harmless compliment. My point. Without fear of, of being arrested, without fear of being fined. So if we're asking today, should wolf whistling be a crime? Should it be finable? I used to joke more flippantly, and a lot, especially a lot of my mum friends, because, you know, beyond a certain age, you know, beyond a certain point, it's quite nice to be paid a compliment, that if I walk past a building site and I'm not, you know, no one goes, all right, I go round again just to make sure. We, I actually feel too flippant about that now, mm. given, the, given the climate that we're in. But we have to be so careful not to now get so sensitised by everything, things which are harmless, things which are okay. If I said to you, Philip, you know, we're coming up in the lift, so won't God, you look rather nice, Philip, you know, you, you know, your bum looks nice in those jeans or something, would that be finable if I was just but joking this is not a you? case of men saying, oh, you look lovely, darling. Mm. This is pulling on the strings of sexism to undermine and degrade women. They are not look at her. Saying, oh, you look lovely. She's it's paid. not a compliment. Aren't they saying, oh, you look lovely, just in a whistle? To be honest, Philip, I wouldn't know because when these groups of men, and they are generally groups of men, wolf whistle or holler at you across the street, you don't really know what they're saying. You Not even using you English. Down and keep walking as fast as you can. It makes you feel very uncomfortable. Well, dress differently. And I do generally think that by and large they're making derog derogatory comments at women. She can't even get her words out. Repeat offenders of this because we're not talking about wasting police resources and so we can see what's going on here. Look at what she's wearing. I'm sure they will. I'm 
but how many women are actually going to implement that law to the extent that they well, make what's the point of what, what, what is the point one. of having a law Correct, in exactly. place if you don't use it? It is yeah. sexual harassment. Yes, it's verbal, but it's sexual harassment. There you what go. How do we define whether or not that makes someone feel uncomfortable? If you are repeatedly being made to feel uncomfortable, yeah. should so she's talking about sexual harassment that like she's walking around with a skirt on which is barely, you know, usable as a belt. She's got her pins out. She's got fake eyelashes on. She's dyed her hair like anything. She's probably got collagen in her freaking lips. You know, she's got a neck choker on. Look at the neck choker, you know. And she's banging on about sexual harassment. You cut, and she's trying to put as much energy and as much passion behind it to get feminist behind her, yeah? It's an attack on homo, uh, not homo, it's, it's an attack on uh, heterosexualism, sorry. And it's ridiculous, all right? This shouldn't be allowed on television because that is pushing an agenda and it's saying heterosexualism is wrong, don't wolf whistle at women, it's all right for gays to do it to each other. They can do whatever. We don't need to write laws about gays because we're pushing that. But heterosexualism, no. We've got to stop men and women coming together. That's all I've got to say. Leave some comments in the box below. Subscribe if you do. Uh, thank you for sorry. Thank you for subscribing if you do. And thank you if you want to like the video as well. That'd be great. All right, cheers. Have a great day. Namaste.